up, Brandon Collector on YouTube. Whoa. This is Ranger Collector 62492 here, and I'm going to be doing my top, first top 10 video via request from a fan. And uh, this is going to be my top 10 sixth Rangers. So, starting off, number 10, Robo Knight. Okay, so everybody loves Gosei Knight from the Japanese series Gosager. Robo Knight, technically, um, being a robot, I guess, is something. A lot of people like about this particular Six Ranger, um, and it's an interesting character. Um, but he's not at the top of my list. He was created by Gosei, and he was put out there um, to protect the Earth, basically, and uh, the environment. So uh, he just had missions. He was, you know, taught by the Rangers to have emotions and have you know as a robot he can't have those but the rangers taught him that and he wanted to learn more about humanity so that was an interesting thing megaforce not being the most popular season but robo knight still has a close portion in my heart so uh yeah number nine is merrick the lunar wolf merrick he had an interesting backstory being um you know, cursed to wear a mask, or, well, he put the mask on to sacrifice himself for whatever reason. I haven't watched Wild Force in, like, forever, but I do know that he had to become Zunaku, and he was cursed to become Zunaku forever until the Rangers broke the spell and Merrick came back to become the sixth addition to the Wild Force team, the Lunar Wolf. So that is a interesting story on its own. I've always liked Merrick and I've always liked the Lunar Wolf. So, um, you know, to have an evil backstory, just like any other Six Ranger, um, well, most of them anyway, but that's why he's number nine on the list. Number eight is Gold Samurai. Not really um, the most favorite Six Ranger. Definitely he was very cartoony. He was just very excited and over energetic to some people but I, I really do like the costume if that makes any sense um the mixture of blue and gold always had that like uh that weird um effect to um the costume but I always liked when he went into mega mode he start, had black and gold and that that makes a lot of um you know memories about gold zeo so, um, I like that, and uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, suit designs. Number seven, Dino Thunder White. Another evil ranger gone good. Um, Dino Thunder White played, you know, Trent, and uh, Trent was the son of um, Mezagog, or Anton Mercer. Trent um, struggled to get his father's acceptance, but when he stumbled upon uh, Mezagog's lab, he took the white dino gem, and it fused within his body, making it very hard for him to control the powers, so he was uh, evil, and the rangers decided to help him out once they found out it was Trent, and um, he became a new addition to the team. But uh, it's a classic story of a ranger that was bad, went good, you know, became a new addition, so... Dino Thunder White is number seven on my list. Number six, Super Mega Force Silver. I know a lot of people are going to judge me for this one. Um, the fact that uh, this is a new addition to the uh, you know Rangers Six Rangers universe, um, I like him for the fact that he can bring back past Six Rangers with his Morpher. That is the only reason why he's number six. And I don't like or Orion as much as the next person. Um, he's He's okay. 
He has an interesting backstory. His planet was destroyed, and he wants to avenge, you know, his, you know, race and, you know, help save Earth from the same destruction. So, that's number six. Number five, the Quantum Ranger. Everybody loves the Quantum Ranger. Eric being the biggest smartass in the Power Ranger universe. He was competing with um, Wes, and he became uh, a Silver Guardian, and uh, he tried to gain the respect of Wes's father, and it seemed like Eric was more of a son to Wes's father than Wes was, and Eric judged Wes for that for, like, ever, you know, once he dropped out of the Silver Guardian. So, um, the fact that Eric was a Silver Garden Guardian helped him to obtain the Quantum Ranger powers, and he became the Quantum Ranger. He was sort of a rogue ranger at first, and once he started getting, um, you know, he, he was very alone. He was a loner. He liked to do things himself, so he avoided the rest of the rangers. He didn't want to be a part of the team, but he helped them out when needed. But, you know, I liked uh, the Quantum Ranger. Eric, Eric was just, you know, really a hard ass. And I like that in, in a characteristic for a ranger. He was just very, you know, strict. But he's number five on my list. Number four, Silver Space. Zane has a really, really interesting story. You know, coming from KO35, him and uh, Andros were good friends. Um, when... KO-35 was under attack, him and Andros tried to fight off whatever was attacking, it slips my mind at the moment, but KO-35 was under attack and Andros and Zane were fighting, Zane gets injured from protecting Andros and it was critical so Andros decided to freeze him and the rangers or the other four rangers decide to stumble upon the chamber which he is frozen in and once the ship's destroyed the ice melts everything goes haywire but once the ice melts zane re-emerges as the silver ranger and he is a badass and he that's why he's closer to the top of my list i really like uh silver space number three this is more of a suck-up choice you guys know i work for the defilippo triplets and you know gold zio is an interesting character born alien and you know the fact that Trey of Triforia has uh you know um Triforce personalities it's uh, the powers infused to make one person and the fact that the, the powers are supposed to hold that one person together they split and they needed to give uh Jason the powers so Jason uh held the powers momentarily and uh, once Jason couldn't hold the powers anymore, he transferred it back to Trey of Triforia. So, it's, you know, your typical story, but still very nice. Number two, this one should be obvious. Um, green slash white MMPR. Um, Tommy is like the most popular Six Ranger. I understand that. Why he's number two, you'll understand in a minute. This is my personal list, but uh, Green White MMPR Tommy, um, he he's overall his his characteristics, his personality, his karate style, it's all badass. And the fact that he was evil first, he was the first evil ranger, and you know I liked him better as the Green Ranger honestly, but he got more um, aggressive when he was the White Ranger when he fought. Um, you know, read his monsters. So it was a very interesting um, character. Um, once he got into Zeo and Turbo, he just kind of mellowed out, but he was really good as the Green White Ranger. I enjoyed those. And number one, everybody should know this by now, my favorite ranger, the Titanium Ranger. Yes, I am like the biggest Titanium Ranger fan as much as the next person. It just... The reason why he's my favorite, the suit design. I love it. I love the suit. I love the weapon, which is the titanium axe. And I love the backstory. Um, taken from his father from a tragic past, you know, Captain Mitchell and uh, Dana and Ryan both were uh, tragically thrown out of their car off the side of a cliff and Diabolico made him choose to save Ryan or let him fall to his death 
but Diabolico had to keep him until his 20th birthday. And once that rolled around, the Titanium Ranger was fighting against the Rangers, and he, he was taking his revenge out on his father. Once he was revealed to be Ryan, who was long thought gone by Dana, Captain Mitchell decided to tell the true story, and they all wanted to try to help Ryan. Once Ryan finally realized who the real uh, what really happened, he became good. Although his story was short-lived, it was a really interesting story the way they handled the character. And the fact that he's the first American-made ranger, it makes it all the better. He was, uh, it just shows that Bandai, or not Bandai, Saban actually tried to do something with the character. So that's why he's number one on my list. But stay tuned for more top 10 videos when they come. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.